We'll allow only two more questions, one on that mic and the last question from this mic. And we have only five minutes left for Dr. Zakir to answer those. Yes, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I am rewarded. My name is uh, Abdullah Sheikh. Before it was a Sushan Kumar Mandal. I am from Panvel. But there is one question regarding uh, Allah Akbar, which I am always, uh, I have read the Quran and I came to know that there is a Jannat, which I am trying to go Jannat directly. To, for that, I have to follow the Hadiths and Quran. But when I have read the Hadiths and Quran, I came to know that I have to follow total Sunnat, which Sunnat has tried to put me down because of my mother. And my mother asked me to remove my beard, my cap, and all Sunnat. She wants me to be like an Indian guy. She says to me, you have to pray Allah in your heart, not by Salah. And this always Hindu always try to put me like this. You do what? What we say? Shall I have to do like this, or I have to leave the house, or I have to stay other? Mashallah, brother, that's a very good question. Allah gave him hidayah. He became a Muslim. He realized that following Quran and Sunnah will give him Jannah. When he read the Hadith, he followed the Sunnah. He wore a cap. He covered his hair. He sported a beard. But his mother says, "Remove the beard. Remove the cap. What should I do?" The verses are quoted of Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 14, that we have enjoined on the human beings to be kind to the parents. In travel upon travel did the mother bore them, but in pain did she give birth. Immediately next verse says, Surah Luqman, chapter 31, verse number 15, but if your parents force you to worship somebody besides Allah, of which you have no knowledge, they do not obey them, yet live with them with love and compassion. The same message repeated in Surah Al-Kabut, chapter number 29, verse number 8. We have enjoined on the human beings to be kind to the parents. But if the parents force them to do something, worship someone besides Allah, of whom they have no knowledge, then don't obey them, but yet live with them with love and compassion. What we realize from Quran and say Hadith, that you have to love your parents, you have to respect them, you have to obey them. But if they tell you something against Allah and His Messenger, that's the only time you can disobey them but yet love them. So if they tell you to remove the beard, you tell, my dear mother, our beloved prophet said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number seven, in the book of death, hadith number 780, that do the opposite of what the pagans do, trim your mustaches and grow the beard. I'm following my messenger. And that same messenger said, paradise lies beneath your feet. So if I remove the beard, even my paradise beneath your feet will go. Mother, I love you. Mother, I care for you. Mother, I respect you. That same prophet said that the person that deserves the best love and compassion is your mother. After that, do your mother. After that, do your mother. So if I stop obeying him, I will have to stop respecting you also. Mother, I love you. I respect you. I obey you. As long as you don't go against the person who's taking you to Jannah, that's the prophet. So depending how you speak, what you do, if you were not obedient to your mother before accepting Islam, maybe she told you, okay, wear a blue color shirt. Mother, I don't like blue color. Moment you became a Muslim, mother, I will wear a blue color. Hurry, what happened to my son? Before he became a Muslim, he used to disobey me. Now he's obeying me. So whatever your mother told you before you became a Muslim, which you never used to follow, the moment you become a Muslim, start following as long as it doesn't go against Allah and His Rasul. You should find a change. Start loving her more. You have to respect her. Suppose she goes to the temple, doing shirk is haram. But the moment she comes out of the temple, it becomes your duty that you take her back home. Because you love her, because you respect her. Even though she's a non-Muslim, yet your paradise lies beneath the feet of your mother. Your mother may not be in paradise, but your paradise yet lies beneath the feet of a mother, love her, respect her, obey her, until she does not go against Prophet and the Rasul. See, there should be a change in your life, and she will respect you, she will also accept your religion, she will even accept the things of Prophet Muhammad Hope that answers the question. Sir, but there is a one problem is that after she has converted into Islam. She accepted my Allah, but he is taking in the uh, in the back of Allah. She is saying to me, uh, "You don't follow what the uh, Huzur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is giving you. The whole structures of the Islam. She is trying to uh, stop. 
what shall i do i should leave the house or i should stay uh, away from my mother because you told me that in the in the uh, in the feet of mother there is a jannat time is running short the time is running short you have to follow yet lover with compassion because tell her that the quran say that you love was your rasul in surah nisa chapter number 4 verse number 59 so quran says follow the messenger therefore i am following the messenger not because somebody else is saying so to follow the quran i have to follow the hadith you love her respect her if she kicks you out of the house stay out of the house yet love her thank you sir thank you jazakallah khair brother